wonderful grandchildren. Jerry and I went together in the car because we had to get back early and start the lunch. We went in the church together. It's not our church. We had the same experience in that we talked to the same people going in, sat together, went down front, promised to do whatever we were supposed to do. When it was over, we got in the car and left quickly to beat the crowd back to the house. In other words, we had just had the same experience. <laughs> You're ahead of me. <laughs> back in their kitchen fixing lunch, all of a sudden, Left Brayton said, boy, weren't you surprised? at the number of men in that church who play golf. <laughs> There's no way he could know how many men in that church play golf. I didn't see somebody hand him a church bulletin and say 73% of the men in the congregation play golf. I'm not going to let that ride. I said, what are you talking about? You've got no way of knowing how many. Aha, he said, you nodded off. The minister said, will all of the golfers please stand? And we did. <laughs> it hit me. Honey, it's Father's Day. He didn't say, will all of the golfers stand? He said, will all of the fathers stand? And you stood up and sat back down and then stood back up. What was that all about? <laughs> he said, I thought he said, golfers. And I stood up. And then I started thinking, I'm not really that good of a golfer. <laughs> Here I am in the church in front of God implying that I am a good golfer. So I sat back down. And I looked over and I see our son is standing. I think I'm a better golfer than he is. And I stood back up. 